Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souter, Sludger Cat Outdoors, back with you again this morning. We're going to be installing an oxygen box from Extreme Bait Tanks into the boat today. We're going to bring you guys along, show you guys how I'm going to install mine, uh, what I'm going to be using, which is uh, paddle, uh, power grip paddle tape uh, from Amazon. Uh, it's supposed to be super strong, super easy to install. So we're going to install today, bring you guys along, and hopefully uh, show you guys how to install your oxygen box in your own boat. Okay, so first things first, we kind of got to decide where we want to put it at in our live well. Now for me, I want it tucked away, kind of out of the way of all the fish, um, you know, give as much more room for the fish as we possibly can. So I'm going to actually put mine in the back corner. Um, as you can see, this is the filter side. So there's nice little cutouts where you can put it up against something and it can still suck water and debris and all the nastiness can still get filtered. Uh, that away and all the, the wiring and hoses comes out that's the, the back side as well now something else I did was add a 45 degree angle um, piece PVC piece to the end of it which just slides off there that's where the water comes out um, but I wanted to be able to kind of uh, direction flow uh, where I wanted the water to go so I put a 45 on there so that the water doesn't come out and go straight against the other wall, more so around in a circular motion in the tank. So that's where I'm going to mount it at, um, kind of in the back corner, give enough room so the water and stuff and the wiring can all freely uh, be kind of back against the back wall. Um, I'll still be able to get to the filter material by simply opening the top up pulling the filter material out and then closing it back up and with that 45 angle on there it will kind of make a circular motion circular flow in the tank to kind of help uh, get the oxygen into the fish's gills as well so now that we know where we want it at it's time to prepare the, the surfaces and uh, get this thing mounted in here Next is going to be like a, just a real fine sandpaper, just to kind of, you know, help roughen it up a little bit, give some, give that tape something extra to adhere to. And it doesn't take much pressure, you know, just a light pressure on it. Okay, now you can you can kind of see the the difference in color from where we roughed it up and where the way, you know, like the smoothness it was originally. So, you know, that just makes it easier for that tape to adhere and make a stronger bond uh, to it. Make sure, you know, you got all the oils and everything off of it. So next I'm just gonna take some alcohol and kind of uh, put it on a rag and clean it all off until the you know, until the towels come back clean you can kind of see see everything that was on you know on that tank from where I roughed it up and, and cleaned it and that alcohol will evaporate very very quickly so so once you do this it doesn't take but just a few minutes to and it'll be ready, dry and warm and ready to put the tape down. I'm gonna get another clean, clean white paper towel, put some more alcohol on it. And as you can see, it's starting to get cleaner.
Okay, now I'm going to do another towel. Once again, put alcohol on it. Nice clean. Okay, now you can see it's pretty much clean. Now, we'll do one more, one more side just to make sure we get it all. Now, once you get it clean, uh, you know, you get your surfaces clean, you want to be very cautious not to touch the surface area that you're going to apply the tape to. Um, any oils that are on your hands will affect how how well that adheres to the surfaces. So, so make sure before you put the tape down, um, you know, that the surface is clean. And once it's clean, do not touch it. Try to stay away from it as much as you can. Next, all we got to do is just cut our power grip tape to a length that we ever choose uh, for me I'm gonna put it the length of the bottom of the box now what makes this so much different than normal uh, you know velcro is that it's not fuzzy on one side and hard on the other this has like little tiny mushroom heads that go into each other. So one strip of it is all you need and it goes directly against each other. Okay. And it's extremely, you know, tougher and stronger than your traditional um, Velcro. Okay, so something I'm going to try this time that's going to try, you know, make it a little bit easier for me since the pieces are all the same length. Um, you know, they're just going on the bottom of the, the box and the, and the floor of the live well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick the two pieces together all the way down. And you really got to push this stuff together. I mean, it's not like your normal uh, Velcro. You really got to work it. And the, the more you work it in, the stronger it is. Uh, honestly so so now that they're together what I'm gonna do is just stick it to the bottom of the live well wherever or bottom of the oxygen box uh, wherever I want it but go ahead and put both pieces on there and then whenever I'm done all I gotta do is peel the outside layer of this one off and stick it down and put the weights on top of the box and that way I don't have to measure where you know where the, the pieces of tape are at or anything like that. And I think that's going to help me out a little bit. So, so let's do that. Make sure these things are good and even and where I want them. And I'm just going to peel that loose. And remember, we don't want to we don't want to touch the surfaces once we get them clean. We want to try to keep you know our hands uh, from touching anything that the the adhesive is going to adhere to. Once this is on there, it's it's basically on there. So get that on there, press it down good. And we're gonna do the same thing to these two pieces as well. Now I I decided to go lengthwise uh, with this tank. Um, Instead of you know width wise strips or anything like that, I don't think that uh, the way this this tape power grip Velcro works, I don't think that one direction is basically is stronger than the other direction. I think it's just good solid stuff uh, that can be used for many many different applications, whether it be for an oxygen box or. Uh, maybe mounting a GoPro mount or a camera somewhere that uh, normally you couldn't mount one or just something you don't want to use uh, screws to, to screw something to and once again you want to work it work it good together kind of 
decide where you're going to put it at. Take a good look at it. Peel layer off. Try not to touch anything. And put it on the box. So now we got the we got the tape on the bottom. We still have the you know plastic piece on there. We're just kind of gonna visualize or you know kind of set it where we want it to be, just to make sure you know one last time we're not putting it somewhere we don't want it to be. Make sure you know, we take all things into consideration. Um, you know anything that's going to be opening, uh, you know your drains, uh, your fields, anything. You don't want it to be in the in the way of anything in your live well. Um, so, you know, being nice tucked back in this nice little corner, uh, like I said, I'll be able to change the filter and get to everything like I need to. Uh, the wires, I'm gonna drill a hole right up here and take them out the back with the with the air hose. So I really, I really like where that's gonna be at. So, so now all we got left is just a peel off the back side of the sticky and and uh, put it where it's going to be at you want to take your time and try to place it as carefully as you possibly can because once it's there it's there there's no really getting it back and that is already oh my goodness that thing is already stuck on there wow so i'm gonna put this tub up here maybe add a bunch of weights to the top of it Add two or three pounds worth of weight, you know, just kind of help help hold it down there. That ought to be enough weight. I'm not sure how many I got. Those are eight ounces. All right, so there you go. Now all we got left is just the uh, drill the hole, run the wiring, and uh, run it to the switch, and she will be she'll be ready to roll. This thing puts a wonderful amount of current in this tank. You know, once it gets going, it'll be a good circular motion. I I just could not be happier with the turnout. Uh, this is going to be a, a very good additive to this live well uh, along with you know other things that I have in here like the pure oxygen uh, things like that you know I, I just cannot wait to get some big fish in here and try it out good project and I am done very 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 happy with the turnout hey we'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching Hope you learned something. Take care.